Big Fat Man Scoop, Crook the Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Batman school, Big Brando, let's go! What's happening everybody? Boy Big Brando, and today let's talk about custom fonts. Now it's a very hot topic at the moment because there's a lot of people out here looking for the same font or they see a font on somebody else's design and they're quick to ask what that font is so they can look it up and use it on their own. But what I'm noticing, and I experienced this myself, is when people ask for the fonts and somebody tells them exactly what font it is and then they find out that you have to pay for it they come back and say hey is there any way I could get that for free or can you just send me the TTF or OTF or whatever it is and usually the person that already has the font just tells them hey you gotta pay for it this is where I got it from I can't send you the TTF can't send you the font file whatever and then the initial response is stop gatekeeping or whatever you know what I mean and I get this all the time because there's people that ask me hey what's the font on that this city don't love you shirt what's the font you used on don't get mad get money what's the font you use on the complaint department shirt happens all the time a lot of times the designs that I make starts with the very simple basic font like impact times new Roman anything that you already have on your computer and then I just add all the little points and stretch them out make them taller I just add stuff to a normal font to make it look a little different in the event that I have to buy a font because maybe I can't recreate what I actually want to do or what I see in my head that's when I'll spend hours behind a computer looking at fonts and that's a full-time job in itself if you want to know where I buy fonts from the link is at the very bottom of the description box none of the fonts are free on that site but let's talk about the beauty in paying for fonts there's a lot of times that people just go straight to the free font sites and download everything they think looks cool and start using them the risk that you run into is there's a million other people that did the same exact thing that you did so now everybody's using the same fonts the way you weed that out is now you pay for custom fonts because there's a handful of people that don't mind paying for fonts and there's a lot more people that don't want to pay for fonts so now you narrow down the chances of actually running the risk of using the same font that somebody else already used this is all part of having your own identity now I get there's a lot of people that don't want to put in the time to look for fonts so it's a lot easier just to ask somebody hey what font is that so I can look it up I don't mind paying for it I don't mind leasing it I don't mind any of that stuff I just need to know the name because I don't have time to look for these fonts you cannot be mad at somebody if they don't want to give up the name of that font the reason being is somebody sat behind a computer for hours searching for the right font that they want to use you have to put in a little bit of work and look for those fonts also when you just comment hey what font is that you're expecting that person that put in all that work looking for that font to now just give it up to you so you're saying all of that hard work you don't care about just give me the name of the font and sitting behind a computer and scrolling through fonts is very hard work it's mind-numbing hard work now long time ago i had bought a cd from best buy that was titled like 10,001 fonts or something like that. And I bought it on sale. This was in the sale bin. It was on a CD and there was a ton of fonts. I still run through those same fonts from years ago. I don't even think Best Buy sells that kind of stuff anymore. Now a lot of the stuff on there, I don't even touch. It has nothing to do with me. I find no interest in it. But there are a handful of fonts on there that I still use, that I still cycle through, that I still kind of use and then I tweak on my own to make them look a little different. But majority of the stuff that I do stems from that and then I make the minor tweaks. And I have a video on here where I show how I add small stuff to like impact font. And I'll add like little points to the middle of the text, make the top a little sharper, just to give it a little bit of character. Sometimes I'll italicize stuff, and make it look a little bit more aggressive. Sometimes I'll round out the corners just to make it look a little bit softer. It all depends on the look that I'm going for. But a lot of my designs start with a really basic font that you can find on any computer because this is what I used to do when I wasn't buying fonts. When I was in the same boat that a lot of you guys are in, and I was scared to download fonts from free font sites 
because I didn't want a virus on my computer. So what I would do is I would see a font out in public, maybe on a billboard or an ad or whatever, and then I would try to recreate that using the standard fonts I already have, and I would just add stuff to it in Photoshop or Illustrator. And there's minor things you could do to a standard font to make it look like something totally different. You'll see in a lot of my designs in the middle of the text, it'll have like a small little point on each side. You can add little triangles like that onto your font to give it a little bit of a different look. You can use those same triangles on the top and bottom. Instead of it coming to a point, you could square them off. There's a bunch of stuff that you could do. But if you were looking for custom fonts and you don't mind paying for them, and I'm talking about everything from like script and cursive, to black letter, to retro, to all the different styles of fonts out there. Check the link in the description box if you wanted to check them out and buy some for yourself. And also, my personal homeboy, Raw Tunes, has just published his own font. So if you wanted access to that, make sure you follow him on Instagram, Raw Tunes. His link is in the description box also. I'm talking about my homeboys do some ill stuff, and these ain't just like internet homeboys. I'm talking about these are my homeboys from my area, from my city, my section, dudes that I hang out with. Raw Tunes is a dope graphic designer. So when he said he's gonna be doing his own fonts, I said easy call because his lettering is crazy. Another person that's dope is Odyssey Rock. Odyssey Rock makes the dopest templates and overlays and pre-made designs that are made to be edited with whatever brand you wanna put in there. His link is in the description box also. I'm talking mock-ups, I'm talking turning text into Chrome. Between those two guys, they have you covered when it comes to plug and play. And even doper, Odyssey Rock makes it way easier for you where he's where he creates the design prints it on the transfer and sells you the transfer so all you have to do is press it on the shirt he's selling the pre-made transfers making it way easy for anybody out there to get going in this business svg files design templates all of that stuff telling you don't get no easier than that so if you want to check out any of that stuff odyssey rocks link is in the description box Raw tunes, link is in the description box. Custom fonts in the description box. It's already laid out for you. I'm leading you to the water. All you gotta do, take a sip for yourself and get this money. If you got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.